How's it going? It's Nikolai of Global Seafoods. Today we're gonna get something special here. Uh, if you like bacon wrapped scallops, we have something better. Okay. Um, what we have today is some sea scallops, guanciale, okay, pecorino romano, garlic, grape tomatoes, white wine, ghee clarified butter, and some big old rigatoni rigate. Okay. Now, um, can't take credit for this one. We got this recipe from Chef Luca Corleone. Um, super important, you gotta get the guanciale, okay? What is guanciale? The Camila, Camila, Camille. The pig cheek, okay? This is not bacon, okay? This is guanciale, it's, it's so much better. You have to use this specific cut of pork. Okay. We put our skillet here, you can use a small one, on a medium flame. We're going to let that warm up and then we're going to put some of the clarified butter on there. So otherwise known as ghee. If you're using a flame, it's going to be faster. So we're going to take a spoon of clarified butter. Throw it in the pan, let it melt. Mm -hmm. Water is boiling. We are going to add our pasta. We're going to cook it al dente. So much packaging in this. So for this one, it's about 12 minutes on boiling water. Boom, 12 minutes. Clarified butter, we add the scallops on medium heat. That's gonna cook, okay. Here's a, here's a trick. You're gonna take your pan, you're gonna put it at an angle, take some of that butter, pour it on top. Okay, we're gonna cook these until they are brown, nice and brown on both sides. Okay, here we are, nice and golden on the bottom. We're gonna flip these and continue to cook until they are done on both sides. Beautiful, that's gonna be delicious. Ah yes, the beautiful work of having cherry tomatoes. All right, scallops are done. We're gonna put them on a plate, put them aside. All right, our tomatoes are halved. We're gonna use the guanciale. Now you need to trim it. You see all this black pepper on the outside? You don't wanna get any of that. So you wanna make sure you're very careful at trimming it so you don't lose too much of that fat there because that there is the flavor and then we're going to cube it nice and light Pasta is ready, it's cooked al dente. We're gonna save some of the pasta water. So we're gonna drain it into a bowl. Okay. 
we've cut the guanciale, cold pan, okay? We just turned the fire on. We're going to put it on. That way it slowly, slowly, slowly starts to heat up and release some of that fat. As you can see, the guanciale has been lightly fried and browned. See, there's oil in there. Okay, we don't need any olive oil. We're just gonna fry the tomatoes right in the guanciale. Take our tomatoes, throw them right in there. Let them fry up slightly. Get them all in there. So beautiful. Trust me. All right, these tomatoes are frying up nicely with the guanciale. We're going to take our grated garlic, throw it right in there. There's about two cloves right there. Add that in, mix it in. Let that start frying up. Now, we don't want all this to burn. So we are going to add a little bit of something, something to help. The process. My hands are greasy, so I can't get this bottle of wine open, obviously. Oh my gosh. I'm using my teeth. There we go. Okay. Wine. White wine. Italian. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit here. There we go. A little bit of white wine. Let that cook off for a little bit. Okay. And mix in with the guanciale and the tomatoes. And the garlic. All right, look at that. Let me tell you, the smell is in freaking incredible. Guanciale, garlic, tomatoes, white wine. Okay, look at that sauce out sticking up nice. We're gonna take a little bit of the cooking water that we had, and we're gonna add that in. Okay, there we go. That's all you really need. Throw the rest out. Mix that in there. Let that reduce a little more and then we're going to add the pasta all right look at our sauce we're going to take our pasta we're going to add it straight into the sauce here if the pasta's cooled off a bit while you've been cooking this that's okay we're going to add it right in there okay put that pot away we're going to mix it up nicely get it all in there Get that sauce on, get the guanciale on. I am so excited for this. This smells incredible. Everyone is standing here and just drooling like a basset hound. Someone get my cameraman a napkin. <laughs> okay, not Parmigiano Reggiano. Pecorino Romano, white cheese. They say when it snows in Rome, it snows Pecorino Romano. I'm going to grate the shit out of this cheese. Get it all in there. Get it all in there. Okay, let's mix that in. Make sure we have it nice even pecorino romano the pecorino adds some great scents here guys this is so good so good we're gonna put this to a low we're gonna actually i'm gonna add some more cheese and then we're going to let it sit for a little bit let the cheese melt into the dish and then we are going to plate it all right, here we are. We've plated our pasta with the guanciale and the tomatoes. We have our scallops. We're going to take a couple of scallops, put them on top. Here we go. Make it look presentable and nice. So let's give this a try. Let's take one of the scallops, cut it in half. We're going to try to do this all in one bite to try to figure out how the flavors work together. So we've got... Still need a little bit of tomato here. <laughs> there we go. Mmm. That's fantastic. 
Now you may have noticed that we didn't add any salt and pepper. The guanciale has the flavor. Okay, it's gonna have the saltiness. And it's gonna have a little bit of a pepperness from some of the pepper that's on there. Mmm. So good. 10 out of 10. It's almost sweet. So try this out. Hit like, hit share, follow our channel. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.